Hello, and you might notice that I've got a new microphone. Moving on. I have a lot of pet peeves in historical and medieval based movies. Now one of the big ones is the lack of helmets, and particularly with main characters. After a shield, the next piece of equipment you need to get is a helmet, because it is vital. Your head is so vulnerable, and if you get hit on the head you could easily be put out of the fire or you'd just be dead. Now I'm not saying that you're completely invincible with a helmet on, however it is a vital piece of equipment to have in that kind of context and that historical period or setting. Also, there's about 7,000 years of historical evidence of different kinds of helmets right until about 5000 BC with the Minoans all the way up until modern period and you've got all those great fantastic styles that could be developed into a historical or fantasy kind of movie. I also wanted to point out that actors are fully capable of acting with a helmet on whether it's open faced helmet or a visored helmet you can use body language it's quite easy to act through having a helmet on it's not going to cover your acting ability. Later on I'll give you an example where the main actor in the scene has a helmet on and it really gives the scene nice grounding and a nice sense of reality. I'm not saying this is the only element that is a bit of an annoyance to me when there is lack of helmets. There are many others and I'm just going to focus on this one thing in this episode. So yeah, I'm going to move on to some examples. Now the first TV show I'm going to talk about is Vikings. And in this example, only the extras and maybe a minor character actually wears a helmet. In general, this TV show has good costume design regarding the clothing. However, the armor is absolutely terrible. It is completely inaccurate. Oh my God. There's so much black leather armor, it's incredible, and what bugs me most is the helmet element. Viking helmets are so iconic, and you've got a great potential to doing Viking period helmets for the main characters. You've got nice Vendel period helmets, and it's such a big shame that they have completely missed this out. The craft behind these helmets, incredible, and it really gives a sense of art culture within the Viking period. Now the first film I'm going to talk about is Kingdom of Heaven. Now in some cases the main character will wear a helmet, however during battles it just falls off and it's completely stupid. Realistically his head is completely vulnerable to any attack in the face or the head and he could easily be put out of the fight. And in the film kind of context <laughs> it allows him to have a flowing hair in the wind which is more of a fantastical element to the movie however it's unrealistic and it's something that actually disconnects me from the movie. Now the next example is Lord of the Rings and this includes all three movies where some of the main characters actually don't have a helmet. Some do and when they do it looks really good however when they don't and go into battle charging in without a helmet on it's another example where it kind of disconnects you from that realistic and grounded approach. Now I think Weta Workshop in general did an absolutely fantastic job in creating the whole universe and they put in a hell of a lot of effort into the costume design so it still remains my one of my favorite movies and uh, movie series now the next example is game of thrones and it's a big shame because in the books helmets are mentioned a lot and they are have their own design and have their own elements however in the show they're completely left out and it's really annoying. I think one of the only helmets that is actually put into the TV series is the Hound's Hound Helmet. When I'm talking about lack of helmets I'm talking about lack of helmets for the main characters. Again the extras have their own styles and different designs in their helmets and that's really nice to see however the main characters are completely left out and uh, completely vulnerable to any attack especially in a battle. I think in general for Game of Thrones armour is created as a costume element and armour and clothing are completely different things and should be treated completely differently especially when you get into the battles. It is another example where the clothing is absolutely phenomenal however the armour design is lacking a lot 
So now I'm going to move on to a, a scene in a movie where the main character in this scene is wearing a helmet and it really gives a sense of reality in the moment and the fact that he has to wear that helmet in order to stay alive. In general, the design of the helmet could be improved quite a bit, but the fact that he actually is wearing a helmet is a great, great bonus. This is from the movie Viking, which is a, a Russian movie. Let's get to it and let's give it a watch. danger was quite high especially considering they were surrounded by the nomadic i think they were khazars but the fact that they, all the characters were wearing helmets especially the main character was a great bonus and it gave a sense of danger and a sense of reality in the situation that they were in now i'm going to finish moaning here and end the episode before i go on and on and on so i en hope you enjoyed that and it was a little bit informative especially from a artist point of view and maybe from a designer's point of view now you can probably see the helmets are maybe a little more important and they should be implemented especially for the main characters so yeah i'm gonna finish there goodbye